with a fighting spirit. Showtime Penn is 32. Nate Diaz is 34. Diaz, the taller man by a couple inches. He has a three and a half inch advantage in reach. All right, now for the introductions back inside to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the coming event of the evening. Presented by Nebron, home character since 1872. And Motel 6, when you're ready to tap out, check in and save. We'll leave the light on for you. And Poker Stars and recent gold chip octagon winner, Derek Williams. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A crazy jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record, 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the ultimate fighter, season five winner, Special artist, holding a professional record, 22 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 169 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the former WEC lightweight champion and the former UFC lightweight champion and the number 7 ranked welterweight contender in the world. Mike Beltran, our referee, Brooklyn Wren, hustling her seat. She wants to watch the co-headliner tonight, Anthony Showtime Pettis. It is the 4-1-4 versus the 209 right, Nate Diaz. First round. Ceremoniously ending his near three-year layoff here tonight. This fight clock is brought to you by Modelo Group for those with a fighting spirit. South Paul versus South Paul. There goes the low kicks right away. when he lost the belt. Those kind of pressure grapplers. Oh, nice rip to the body by Showtime. Diaz supremely conditioned as usual. And again, attacking that body of Anthony Pettis coming up on three minutes here to go round one of a possible three. Oh, there's that high kick. Beautiful combination by Pettis. And that's what Josh Thompson caught Diaz with a few years back. And you see Pettis is making those reads and adjustments himself. Diaz trying to create a striking angle here, Finks. Well, he's fighting very intelligently. He's not just waiting towards him, he's looking for those openings. This is where Diaz can get up the most. If he can turn it into a dirty boxing match like this, kick him up against the fence, take the kicks out of 
out of the equation, this is where Diaz can really get up. You can also try to exhaust him and slow him down. Nice knee to the body there by Diaz. Oh, nice right hand from Nate. That seemed to get Pettis' attention. Pettis looking for that left, that right high kick. He goes to the body, fakes to the body, and the kick comes and follows after. And Pettis will switch stances easily, and you see that now. He's in orthodox. I mean, the showtime kick he landed, that was from orthodox stance. But kick her around the world. But many of his kicks, big power kicks, come from the left side as well. Knee right up the gut from Pettis. Diaz takes the takedown in the guillotine. Pettis welcomed the opportunity to work off his back tonight. Arm in guillotine, but he only has one leg. He does not have full guard. It's very hard to pull off. I was looking forward to this battle here. Pettis has a nasty triangle. Diaz is seeing it, looking to pass by the legs. Diaz has a solid ground game. And so does Pettis. Well, we haven't seen Pettis really challenge too much on the ground, so we're going to see if he can get away from somebody with the equal jiu-jitsu but not the high-level wrestling. He has applying pretty good pressure here. Pettis told us on Thursday, though, he wasn't going to defend takedowns. Pettis he welcomed this fight. He gave up his back. He's not good. He's trying to explode, but Diaz is going to wind up on top. Full mount. He's squirming, hip escape, nice shrimp. Very nice move there, but Diaz is still on him like glue. Diaz takes the back here late in the round. This is huge for Diaz. He's going to switch to a body triangle. He'll bring that left leg across to try to hold him to keep him from spinning. That's They're second. short on time here. Huge first round for Diaz to get that takedown and secure the, the, the takedown afterwards in control. Gigantic. Awesome. Five minutes in the can. This fight is hydrated by Body Armor Sport Water. The water made for athletes by Body Armor Hydration at Circle K. on the back and on the on the bus stomach. wants to take you down. You got to take that to move you use to drag him away from me. Don't move to the fence. Okay. Move to your left. Okay. You lose when you move to the left. Okay. okay. He's, he's baiting and fading to try and get you to throw the kick neck and just dribble the hands even if you yes. don't land it. Put your, hands on, put your hands on his. Put your hands on his. That's what we're saying. Hand pipe. Three. Boom. Don't have to be big. Just and the neck okay. kicks there, right? UFC 241 Cormier versus Miocic 2 is brought to you by the official Frozen Meal.